Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today for the collection of my dream car. One that I've been talking about for years, but I have finally taken the plunge. Today, we are picking up the new Shmi Mobile, my Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG Black Series. Now you join me over in Germany with the G63, joined by Tony from Turbo Transport with his trailer to head to Munich to the dealership Schalkelisse, where we're gonna be collecting the car, a specific car that I saw about about six years ago and never did I think that one day this car would be mine. In fact, that very day I was here at the Motorworld in Stuttgart. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later on, but this is just going to be the start of the adventure. We will trailer the car back to the UK, get it registered. I'm actually going to be repainting it in my own choice of color. And then this summer, I'll be taking it over to the USA for a tour. I cannot wait. SLS Black Series time, a dream car of mine. One that I couldn't wait for. Today is the day though, collecting it here in Germany, let's go! This has already been quite a mission. It was a long drive yesterday. We got here very late at night, and as you can imagine, I have barely slept out of excitement. But yesterday morning in London, I made the international payment before hopping on board the G63 to catch the Euro Tunnel to drive through France, Belgium, the Netherlands to Germany to pick up Tony. Morning, guys. Great to have somebody who knows exactly what to do with the trailer joining for this journey. And now we find ourselves at the Motor World here in Zindelfingen, the home of Mercedes Benz, with my Mercedes G63 to go go today to collect the Mercedes SLS AMG Black Series. I can't believe those words are coming out of my mouth. Now, before we hop on board the G, there is something I would like to show you inside here at the Motor World, which also connects back to that day six years ago when I first saw this very SLS. I'll tell you more about how all of this came together a little bit later. Let's head inside then, have a look before we get on the road. Welcome then here at the Motor World, where you have a series of different dealerships along with the private cars that are in storage, including a LaFerrari as well as a Carrera GT up top. There are actually two brand new Mercedes AMG GTR Roadsters. One of them just up here. Mine is going to be coming later this year. I think Tony is checking out this rather nice Bentley Continental GT convertible, but there is something I want to show you just around the other side. And that, as I come up this way, actually past the Lamborghini workshops where we have two Aventador SVJs, is this the SLS AMG Roadster with that number plate. Think about my username, Shmi150. I first saw this car and that plate in this bay about six years ago as well, that day that I came before going from here to see what will now be my SLS Black Series. I've had so many people ask me if that is my car since that day. Well, now I actually will own an SLS later on today. This still feels crazy. Let's head out to the G and get on the way. Let's hop on board then. We've got about three hours or so to go. I think I'm gonna drive the first leg and then we will swap over. Let's get this started up. The car is all set for towing. We've got the extended mirrors. We've got everything lined up. Of course, you don't get blind spot assist while you are towing, but we will be uh, nice and easy, comfortable on board here to head on out and uh, yeah, get this done. No pressure or anything then. At the moment, of course, we have an empty load, but always check your mirrors about 100 million times when you're doing this to be extra careful and safe. Um, we're gonna head on out. We stayed here at the V8 Hotel, very aptly named, here in Mercedes land. I love that clunk of the G63 doors. Right, we will head out on the autobahns. Sadly, it's not gonna be a VMAX run when we've got a big trailer behind, but this is, this is pretty cool to be using the G63 as the towing vehicle for the new SLS Black. This was always kind of, almost in my dreams when I thought about buying one of these, that this is what we could use it for. And now we are actually doing it. We're actually using this as intended. <laughs> You've got to watch how long the trailer is behind. But we've got ample power. This car, remember, with the Rentec upgrades and the Akrapovic exhaust, 727 horsepower, 1,068 Newton meters. Anyway, straight onto the autobahns, two and a bit hours in a car. It'd be more like three in, the, uh, in this, going a little bit slower. But progress, we're on the road. And that whole area on the other side of the road there is the Mercedes assembly plant. Even the AMG GTRs are literally put together just over that side. But we are now on the roads, put down, <laughs> this is crazy how much power and go and noise the G-Wagon has. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, a smooth journey ahead and we'll get to Jacques in Munich to see this car. And I can't wait. I am, this is becoming reality now. It is dream car collection day. We're doing it. 
We know we're heading the right way when we've got the signs to Munich. This is definitely the right autobahn to be taking. It's not going to be long now. We've had a driver swap. Tony is now back at the wheel, heading back out onto the autobahn, the A8 to Munich. Yeah, I mean, this is quite an easy, gentle cruise. And fortunately, the sky is now looking a little bit clearer and the road is looking drier, which is much better than it was earlier today when it was pouring with rain and horrible. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's going well. It is not far to go now. Six kilometers, six minutes, and then we're gonna see it. And here we are then. This is where we are coming. We're inside, by the way. There will be the most fantastic lineup of cars. Um, we're gonna have to park this up somewhere. But inside there, I can just see it. I can actually just see it. Just inside the windows, the tail of the car right there. Hey, I can see a little view of both AMGs together right now. Um, right, let's get this parked up and then let's head inside and go and take a look at that. As you can see, the car is right here behind me inside the showroom where I've just been in to check it out, to go over the car, to make sure that everything is in order. My payment arrived on time, but now I am very excited to share with you guys here at Schalkelisse outside of Munich, my new SLS AMG Black Series right here. Check this out. How awesome does this car look in some extraordinary company? I'll show you around afterwards, but this is it. The car that I've been hoping to one day add to my garage and it is now happening. This is the new Schmimobile, seen here in Himalayas gray, an exclusive color, not a standard color for the SLS Black Series, but just look at this. I've driven them a few times to date and each and every time it has been one of my favorite cars to get behind the wheel of. Not just the regular SLS, but the Black Series of which they only made 350 and of course they are not exactly common cars at all, highly limited edition, but with hardcore components that came from the SLS AMG GT3 car, which just gives it the most crazy dynamics possible. It is an amazing car to drive and then up front you have the 6.2 litre naturally aspirated V8, which you will see a tribute to that in my number plate, the SHMEE plates with the 62 for the 6.2 two litre engine, the last of an era, a stunning, stunning engine. Now come and have a quick look as well at the interior of this car, gullwing doors that open upwards of course. And then in here, you've got the mix of the leather and the Dynamica interior, the red accents, the red stitching, the red seat belts. This is such a cool place. And of course, we have the bucket seats, a very, very comfortable bucket, but this is the ultimate in kind of supercar Grand Tourer. There's a decent amount of space in the back. In fact, let's come and open up the back and also open up the uh, engine bay as well, just down here, if I can find the catch. There we go. Come and have a quick look at this, the power plant that makes it all happen. 631 horsepower mounted back behind the front axle. This was the first car that AMG made in-house and then the Black Series is kind of the ultimate expression of hardcore performance. Look at how wide it is. That extra part that you see there, that's how much wider it is than the standard SLS. You've got a full carbon bonnet, look at that. That's actually stunning on the underside, wow. I'm short on breath with excitement right now. Around at the back, in here at the moment, we actually have the temporary number plates, the export plates. This is how it will eventually be registered, but for the moment, just for show and display purposes here at the showroom. But this is it. We've got some space for touring with it, and that is exactly what this car is going to do. It is gonna do everything, and you can even see how wide it is here at the back as well. But it's such, I think, an iconic car, the gullwing doors linking back. Oh look, we've got a new uh, guest arrival as well there. But the gullwing doors that link back to the 300 SL, and everything about it, this carbon ceramic brakes. This is, uh, yeah, this is, this is kind of a dream right now. This car is gonna be heading home with us later today. Now then, I have the keys. It is time to take a seat on board for the first time ever. This is actually a first for me as well, to buy a car sight unseen. I had never seen this car myself until a few minutes ago. The team out here had all the paperwork, all the documentation, and looked after it brilliantly, told me everything. And also, that 600 LT is being driven by my friend, Jer Collector, who had come out to check it out as well for me. So let's do this then. Let's take a seat on board, because one of the biggest things is the drive experience and also the engine and how it sounds so then here we go inside my new car this is epic right let's turn on the ignition needle sweep and then it is time to press the button and take a listen as it roars into life <laughs> this is so good this is this is major kind of like pinch dream moment that this is 
actually happening. I have, I've wanted one of these for years. I mean, like I said, it's the first time for me buying an older car like this. I've had a couple of used cars, like my old Mini, for example. Even my GTC4 Lusso is about two years older or was at the time I bought it. But this is about six years old. It's a different ball game. But here we are. This is my new SLS Black Series. I guess I probably shouldn't have it on for too long inside the showroom here. But wow, 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 wow. I am itching to get this back home and to be able to eventually drive it. Yeah, yeah, this is mega. Let me show you as well then around this fabulous showroom. Before we do, one of my favorite bits of the SLS, closing the gullwing doors, just dropping those down. But behind my car, we have the stunning Ferrari Enzo. We have a few different Porsches, old meets new here, the 356, alongside the 991.2 GT3 RS Visac. We also have a 993 GT2 race car, then the 458 Speciale Aperta, one of only 499, this one heavily individualized. Notice the different seat colors that you have inside. A 3,000 kilometer only Ferrari F40, alongside a Lola T70, then look at those two beautiful Ferraris, the 275 Alloy, one of only 60, the 250 SWB, the famous short wheelbase. We have a Dino, a Daytona, the Countach, and have a look at this as well. One of my favorite iconic, more modern cars, the SLR Sterling Moss, original black paint, delivery mileage. That is something very, very, very special parked up back there. A beautiful, beautiful showroom, actually. The way this is presented, the way the cars are all displayed and then over here my new SLS Black Series. I'm sorry for saying that quite so many times in this video but I've thought about this moment for years about eventually buying one of these and it has now happened. You guys know how much I enjoyed my AMG GTR, my AMG GTR Pro, the GTR Roadster coming in the future but this is that format even rawer? They made so few of them. It was officially, well, it was never officially confirmed other than 150 cars in the USA. There are 15 cars in the UK right-hand drive ones, but it's believed to be 350 or so in total. A very, very rare beast, and one that I know I enjoy driving, and one that I'm gonna drive a lot. Talking about the fact, though, that I saw this car before, when I visited Motor World six years ago, I met up then with the team from Voss Cars who invited me to come back to have a look at their showroom where this car at the time was actually wrapped as part of a display event it had been going to and it was wrapped to look like a police car. The last car downstairs is this SLS AMG Black Series. The Ring Police Team. A bit of fun German team who have some cars decked out interestingly. How crazy is that though? Who would ever have thought back then that in the future that car might become mine? I could never have predicted it. I was on a tour at the time with my recently bought McLaren MP4-12C. I'd had that for a couple of months. This was certainly double if not more in terms of the price tag at the time. And now, well they've appreciated since. It is an investment, a collector car of course, given the rarity. And now well, that one is going to be heading back home with me later on. This is kind of boggling my mind, it is very much a dream day for the dream car to be added to the garage. At this point, it is time to take the car out of the showroom, but I would like to say a very special thank you to Kevin and the team here. Thank you ever so much. Thank you, it was a pleasure looking after you. And I cannot wait for this, but I think we should hear it start up from the outside yeah. and then take it on outside so we can get the car out, well, into the last of the daylight this afternoon. But this car, well, I'm actually looking forward to hearing the noise of the burble from outside right now. Um, of course, I jumped in earlier. We'll get it outside the showroom carefully. For the moment, though, <laughs> look at those doors. It's so cool, right? Let's hear it. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is, this is crazy. This is totally crazy. It's a deep, deep rumble. Oh, into the daylight, into the daylight goes my new SLS Black Series. <laughs> That's my car. Oh, mental. Look at this. Oh, wow. Have a look also here. Just arrived. The Bugatti Chiron. Bugatti, the 110 years of Bugatti. 
That thing is stunning. And what it's gonna be taking off to go into the showroom. We also have the G63 and trailer arriving. <laughs> Thanks to Tony, he's just pulled it around. Let's get ready to load things up. I love seeing that on the move actually. And the noise of it, the noise of engines all around us. The V8 of that, the quad turbo eight litre W16 of this. It is a really special thing. The salty salt Bugatti, 110 years of Bugatti celebration vehicle with the carbon and paint with the same optics level together. Wowzers, we are surrounded by coolness right now. So it's gonna be time to get this loaded up, to take this back home, which will be a separate adventure. Of course, we're getting towards the end of the day, but this is it. This is the new Schmimobile, the SLS AMG Black Series. Yeah, no more words. Thank you to everyone who is part of this adventure. I think we're now 2 million subscribers on the Shmi 150 channel and I can't thank all of you enough, the squad, who are part of this and I think you're going to enjoy the future with this car. The plans involve colour change, potentially, and then this summer taking this car to the USA as well. This is going to be epic. This is going to be so, so epic. Thank you again, everyone. I appreciate it so much. This day has been amazing. This is one of my dream cars and it's now in the garage or it will be in the garage when I get it back home. That's it for this time though. Thank you again and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.